If we're being honest, last week's WandaVision was a bit frustrating. The Marvel Cinematic Universe series did a great job in its fourth and fifth episodes, both answering questions while introducing new ones. All new Halloween Spectacular was really just about adding to the larger mystery. That, however, is most definitely not the case with Episode 7. Breaking the fourth wall as the show just took two massive steps forward by both introducing a brand new hero and a brand new villain to the comic book franchise. Uh, you didn't think you were the only magical girl in town, did you? WandaVision moved into the 2000s era of television with the faux documentary format, spoofing shows like The Office, Parks and Recreation, and Modern Family, and while doing so, made the appropriate moves in Transform Monica Rambeau into the super-powered Photon, and reveal the nosy neighbor Agnes as the villainous Agatha Harkness. She's super mom. Both developments should mean massive shakeups in the remaining episodes, so let's dig into all of the details. What am I doing here, sitting, talking to you. Monica Rambeau has officially turned into Photon, one of the most interesting details revealed in last week's WandaVision, no was the like. discovery by Dr. Darcy Lewis that the two trips that Monica Rambeau took through the wall of the hex permanently altered her DNA. <laughs> Hearing this, comic book fans instantly had a good idea of where it was all leading, but now in episode 7 it has come to fruition. Having crossed into Westview, New Jersey for a third time now, it seems that Monica is no longer a human and has instead been transformed into the hero who we'll eventually know as Photon. Definitely not my friend. You are a stranger. Admittedly this is not exactly a massive shock. When a young Monica, played by Akira Akbar, was first introduced in the 1990s set Captain Marvel, the assumption by fans was that we would eventually see her grow up and become a proper Marvel Cinematic Universe hero. Those expectations were only further amplified when it was announced that Tayana Paris was joining the cast of WandaVision, and now the cycle seems to be complete. The big transformation scene is quite a cool one too. After seeing her plan involving a space rover completely fall apart, Monica opts to jump back into the hex without any safeguards, and unlike the other times, she went through the wall this time we actually got to watch her experience the whole of it. Some trippy visuals play out, and we hear the voices of key individuals like Jimmy Woo, Monica's mother, Maria Rambo, and Carol Danvers. Hayward was trying to bring him to Fighting against the forces, her eyes turn a light shade of blue, and when she finally gets through to Westview, her perception of the world is altered. So what's going on with her? Basically, she is tapping into the energy of the universe, which is Photon's central power set. Thanks to her DNA being rewritten, she now has the capacity to manipulate and transform all of the energies around her, instantly making her one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's most potentially powerful heroes. Brown, just to get what he wants, don't let him make you the villain. She's obviously going to have to take some time to hone her abilities and discover everything that she can do, but she already shows a certain knack for it in breaking the fourth wall namely when she subtly cushions her own fall during a standoff with Wanda, note the brief wave of blue light. <laughs> Clearly, this is a development we're going to see a lot more of in the final episodes of WandaVision. And it will be particularly interesting to see how Monica's abilities compete against the powers of magic, and not just Scarlet Witches. The only lies I've told are the ones you put in my mouth.